Hi guys, it's ASBYT and recently I've done quite a few speaker reviews and today we've got another one but potentially it's got some really great key features which might just make it a must consider if you are indeed looking to buy a new portable Bluetooth speaker right now. Right here we have this absolute beast. It is the Tufton Portable Stereo Loudspeaker from Marshall and I'm going to do a quick unboxing, set it up and then give you my overall first impressions review. They claim it's the king of the road so let's find out if that is indeed true. Without further ado, let's get straight to it. If you're new to the channel and love everything tech, news, unboxings, reviews, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and ding that notification bell so that every time I post a video you are notified and can stay up to date with all of the latest tech. Right, so as you can see we have this rather large box on my desk. On the front we have a picture of the actual speaker in question and to be honest the design looks great, very retro, not quite sure about that guy's tattoos, but who am I to judge? And there's a bit of text at the top on the back. It says, bring the show on the road with Tufton. The mightiest portable speaker from Marshall. Tufton packs 20 plus hours of portable playtime, offers Bluetooth 5.0 technology, and utilizes Bloomlean stereo sound construction for a multi-directional experience. Its water-resistant design and flush-mounted corner caps make it supremely rugged and durable. Tufton is a behemoth of sound made for the open road. Now all of that is quite a claim, let's see if it lives up to expectation. So as we open up the box, inside we have of course the Tufton portable loudspeaker, we've got the mains lead and we've got the quick start guide and legal and safety information as well. Now a little bit of backstory, Marshall are actually one of those vintage iconic companies who have produced many different speakers and amplifiers for a very long time. In fact if you've been at concerts either recently or even going back many many years, you will probably have seen Marshall amplifiers actually on stage being used by different bands etc. Now due to that experience of producing products for that sort of environment of course creating a portable speaker would surely go hand in hand. You would think but like I said let's test it. Now as we've touched on design I may as well give my opinion and to be honest I think the design will split the consumer. You'll get people that want that really modern flash look and there'll be those that prefer a more understated more retro kind of vibe and I think that's what you're getting with this and I think if you're into your rock and roll for example then this is definitely going to appeal to you with that guitar inspired carry handle and the solid metal grill a design which is very in keeping with certain styles of microphones. Then it looks great it feels very premium it looks like a really expensive bit of kit. Now one of the great features about these speakers is the fact that they have a multi-directional sound due to the fact it's got rear-facing tweeters. And before you say it, no, that has nothing to do with Twitter. So of course, wherever you're positioned around the speaker, it will sound the same. The sound not only comes out the front, but also out the back as well. It's got a 30 feet wireless listening range. And due to the fact it's multi-host, two people can actually connect to the speaker at the same time. And this is of course great if you're hosting a party, but you don't want to constantly be always sorting out the music and you want to designate somebody else to also take the range. You can connect it to your own device, you can set one up for your friend as well, and then you can actually take it in turns to switch who's in control. Just make sure, if I'm there, don't let me connect it up because you don't want to listen to my music taste. Having a two-year-old, the sort of songs that are going around my head right now, you, you don't want to be a party to that. Baby shark to <laughs> No, stop. It's got brand new corner caps for better protection. So if you are on the road and you're moving it in and out of vehicles, for example, and it's getting a little bit bashed about, they will help to protect it. Obviously the IPX2 rating as well makes it great, again, for that portability aspect. In just drop my phone in case you go <laughs> in case you're out and about with friends etc and it starts to rain again that added protection is always nice obviously doesn't make it completely waterproof and you certainly don't want to start spraying it with water from the sides or drop it into a swimming pool but again fairly minimal vertical water you should be fine probably not heavy rain but a quick dash a little sprinkling of what's the word drizzle Bit of lemon drizzle and <laughs> and if you're up and out pretty sharpish, you should be fine. Another great feature is that you can customize your sound using the top panel control knobs, including bass, treble and volume. So you can hit that sweet spot. Now again, confirming for how good these would be on the road, the king of the road, you could say. We said 20 hours plus battery life, but what I didn't say is the fact that in terms of charging, with a 20 minute charge, you can get four hours and fully charged within two and a half hours. And I think that specifically the 20 minutes for four hours is a really, really great feature. We've seen the improvements in charging
large time with smartphones over the last couple of years, but other areas of tech have kind of struggled to get going with that. Really good feature with this. And there's also a visual battery indicator as well, another good feature. Now in terms of colors, it only comes in black. It would be nice to see them perhaps mix it up a little bit and have a, an all white version, for example. But if you're gonna go with one, it's safe to go with black. There are three different portable speakers in this range. Now I have the largest in the range here. So if you do like what you see in this video, but you're not sure on the size, you think it might be too big. There are two other options. One of them is called Stockwell 2, and the other one is called Kilburn 2. And they will obviously range in price. Range, the range of the, and the range in price, no? I think once again, we've got a pretty great speaker considering these are not budget by any means, but equally it's not ridiculously overpriced. I think the sound quality is pretty amazing. But I know what you're saying, you don't just want to take my word for it, you want to hear for yourself as well. So I'm going to run a little clip of it playing in the background now. And remember the sound is going to be coming across through the microphone there, so it's not going to be completely accurate, but it'll give you a rough idea. So without further ado, Mr. Marshall Tufton, take it away. This is just the buzz. Put me in perspective. I'm the deepest in the cut. Everybody tune in here. Well, this is just for us now. Decent, right? What's that? Decent, right? Any questions that you might have, let me know in the comment section below. I'll try my best to answer you. And if I don't know them, I'll try and find out from the manufacturers themselves. Let me know also in the comments what you think of this Marshall Tufton speaker. Do you like the design? What do you think of the sound quality from the rough clip that you heard? And do you think the pricing is fair? Like this video if you did enjoy it and found it helpful. Share it with friends and family if they're in the lookout, if they're in the lookout, if they're on the lookout for a new speaker. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and love everything tech. Pretty much daily content here on YouTube, news, unboxings, and reviews. I'll love you and leave you. I'll See you in the next one. Says Bill T. Peace out.